Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. I'm going to go through a really good way of linking this SFML to a Visual Studio uh, IDE. And uh, this is for complete beginners. I made a video on this before, and that is kind of having the SFML folder anywhere on your computer and linking all your projects to that folder. This is for people who want their projects to be more portable, uh, takes a little more memory but it's worth it because it's really more portable and it's much nicer so you can you can kind of like take it with you or send your project somewhere and it'll be a lot easier right post it on github or whatever and the other person doesn't have to download a bunch of files there's only one thing sometimes you get an issue uh, where you you have a DLL missing or something when you try to run a SFML program or SFML uh, project and that could be because you don't have the visual C++ redistribu redistributable. Sorry about that. Uh, and sometimes you might have seen on your Microsoft, uh, what is it, update, Vis Windows update, that it downloads something called v visual C++. And that is kind of a package of C++ libraries. And you want to have that updated for the version of Visual Studio that you have. So you can see that here. If you go into SFML and download the latest version, 2.4.2, you'll see that you'll see which Visual Studio you have alright and you'll see the Visual C++ version you need in order to to work with this so if you don't have it go over to Microsoft's page and just download the one you need install it and then make sure you have the correct one alright the bit here is not your operating system this is for which one you wanna develop and the key thing here is you download one of these you can download the other as well and link them at exact, in the exact same way in the same project and build two different executables for that game. So a 32-bit game and a 64-bit game of the exact same version. Okay, so the person on the computer can play the one there that they really want. And this one, the 32-bit, will work on both. But 64-bit won't work on the 32-bit. Alright, so just remember that. Be really sure which version you have and which uh, bit how many bits you have all right what you want to develop for so you can download both like I said I'll, I'll show you where you change and how you link both uh, in a bit uh, I won't link both but I'll show you and I, I bet you'll understand so just go ahead and download the one you want let's start off with this one all right whatever one you have just download the 32-bit one go to your visual studio I have the enterprise 2015 and it's legit because I go to school uh, let's go ahead and open this make sure you downloaded that file and you open the SFML folder so I just have my old one here in in my E directory what you're gonna need is you just need to get include lib and control click bin as well and just copy that control C for now make a new project in Visual Studio uh, call it SFML link I'll make it on desktop. You can make this wherever you want. Or remember it, wherever you want. Doesn't really matter at all. Just remember where you put it. Empty project. It's console application. Remember, just remove this. I always do it because my teacher told me. And it's always good to do what your teacher tells you to do. Uh, and then just make a new file. Now, there's another thing that can happen. If you go into your properties for your uh, project, you won't see something called C++ here. And you're like, what the hell? I need to change stuff here. And it won't show up until you make a main file or any any type of source file. So you just go ahead and make a main file here, like this. Don't write anything in here yet. Uh, just go to properties, and you'll see this thing showed up. Now go up here. This is important. This is where you link which version you have. Remember, we downloaded the 32-bit version. Remember to keep it on Win32 here. You can do the exact same steps I'm showing you for Win32 in the same project. After you've done it for Win32, do it for X64 as well. Then you'll have linked for both platforms. And where do you build? Remember, you build up here. You can switch between 64 and a 32-bit. All right? As you build your project. And debug and release. Now, just shortly go through. Debug is, it helps you. While you're coding your game, you should code it in debug. Because it checks for a bunch more stuff. Release is much faster. Uh, but it, it doesn't check for a bunch of things so you can get errors but you won't know about them so just keep it in debug but when you want to release send it to a friend or just want someone to test it go ahead press release and then whatever system you want to develop for we'll keep it x86 because we just downloaded the x86 version and then you you build your project but keep it in debug while you're working 
is my recommendation. But anyway, go into C++, put all configurations here, Win32 all, con all configurations. I can't speak today, I'm sorry about that. Uh, go ahead in here, go ahead in general, copy this solution there thing right here. Copy that. Go to general. First off, we'll try something. We'll go ahead, additional include directories, add SFML link. Oh, wait, we didn't copy it in, did we? Wait, sorry about that, guys and girls. One little hitch in the matrix, bug in the matrix. Which is, I copied those. Uh, open your project wherever you created it. I created it right here. Uh, where did I create it? SFML link right here. Okay, I'll put it here. Open it. Go into your SFML link where your main folder is and just copy paste all of this. It might take a while. You know, extract these and put them where, like outside of the bin folder. Don't leave it in the bin folder. Just put them outside. Do like this. So if all your DLLs out, you have your include and your lib folder. That should include a SFML folder, and this should have all the library files. Okay? So you're good to go. Remember, here's your solution. One folder in, just put everything in here. All right, now put that down. Uh, go ahead and do additional include directories. Boom, include. That's all you have to do. All right, I'll show you the magic soon. Uh, go back to general, copy this solution there thing if you don't want to write it again. Just keep that copied. Now, all configurations, 132, that's done. Linker, general. Uh, additional library directories. Let's create a new one. Just press lib once and just select folder. And that's good, all right? Okay, and then apply that. Go ahead and select debug right here. Linker input. Click the little arrow here, edit. Now, S, here you have to write all the libraries you want to include. Graphics, I like to begin with that, d.lib, uh, sfml window, d.lib. Now, we're in debug, remember, debug. And debug libraries have this dash d. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. sfml system, that's really important, d.lib. Remember to spell these correctly or you'll get errors. SFML audio uh, d dot lib SFML um, network b dot lib. Remember these. Now I copy that in unnecessarily because I'm going to have to copy this anyway. Change it to release. Apply all the changes that you'd made. Go into release and then go back into do the same thing for release. And just copy paste that in here as well. Remove the D. Remove the D. Boys and grills, remove it from your life. There you go. Now you included all the libraries, everything you need. Okay, put this back into all configurations. Go back or just press OK for now. Try to include SFML system HPP. Do that. Go ahead and include graphics as well. Graphics. Go ahead and include uh, uh, syst system was include window. Go ahead and include audio. And go ahead and include. I think it's SFML audio .hpp. That's good. Network. I think I spelled it wrong. Okay. And then using namespace sf int main. Do the regular stuff. Return zero. So that's a, that's good. Now this means if you got this included, that means it's running. It's working. Okay, it's working. Now the magic to this is remember we copied the stuff into the folder. There was a reason we did that, and that's not to go ahead and and uh, and link it like I did here. Uh, because what I did, if you remember, was I went into general, it's C users head turn a desktop as link. This is on my computer. If I send this to you, this won't work. You'll have to go in here and relink that. But there is that beautiful thing called solution directory where it will find it itself independent of where you are. And I'm just going to change that to solution directory, apply it, go ahead and do the same thing in C general. Remove all of that, just solution directory, SFML link. No, right here. Solution directory, SFML link, include. 
and then apply that. Now I'm going to see if I did correctly in here. No, I didn't. I have to remove that solution. So just one, one SVM link and the new library. And let me show you what happens. Well, your solution directory is this directory where your solution is. All right, Microsoft Visual Studio Solution. We want to go in one more folder, and here we have the include and the libs. That's exactly what we're doing. We're going to the solution directory, SFML link, and then lib. Or, in this case, include. Now, if I just go here, we're still good to go. Uh, I can run this, and it will probably just shut off. And it's going to make a debug folder. I don't know why this is so slow right now. I think it's just trying to find stuff main.cpp, it found all the files, nothing happened, we're good, okay? No problems. It ran, it ran without crashing, all right? So now, of course, you can do this. I'll do it just for you guys, window, um, and then we have the video mode, 1920, 1080, you can do whatever size you want in here. Uh, let's say title, SFML link, And then SF uh, style, which is style, default, render in the window, while window dot is open, we'll just run it. And then we'll say update draw. So window dot clear, window dot clear, window dot display and whatever you draw you'll draw it here draw stuff so you clear the window you draw as each frame and it will update all the data and then draw all the data so that's basically what you do and here you have the event stuff so event e event um, while window dot poll event event just do this and then just say if event dot closed event dot uh, what is it event dot type equals uh, ev wait. event closed then window dot close and that's when you press the little X on top. Events are cool. You'll see it on the, in the things that I I show in, the, my, in my tutorial. So now we should have a window that's drawing. I can remove this. I can resize this, whatever. And we're good. So this is how you link and it could close as well. Uh, so that's good. There you go. There you go. There you go. Finished drawing. Display means that, okay, we're done drawing. Window will display everything and just print out everything to the screen everything that has been drawn. So this is really important. This is important. You don't want to keep drawing. You want to clear the board, draw a new frame, clear the board, draw a new frame. So that's a good short little tutorial on how to link this. And I can put this solution wherever the hell I want and it will still work. Okay? I can take this damn solution and I can put it in in freaking E and it should work. Let me just put it in here. We'll see. So work as from a link. Run that and then just just uh, run this program and it should still link because I have have my beautiful kind of dynamically linked see you can send your project to your friends you can send it wherever you can put it in school you can work whatever you want and it's right there now I'm gonna delete this because I don't need that anymore but you guys can keep it and you can keep working so yeah that's it guys and grills that's a nice little way to um, to uh, to link it in a more dynamic fashion. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye bye.